For a year of my life, I cheated sleep. I was trying to finish the first year of my PhD and I needed more hours in the day. I researched and read and found something called the polyphasic sleep schedule, which essentially breaks one long sleep up into multiple naps through the day. That year, I slept three and a half hours at night and took three 20 minute naps in the day. That's about 4.5 hours a day. Polyphasic sleep is not unnatural. Many animals sleep this way and our ancestors may have too. Segmented sleep, where you sleep in two four hour chunks at night, was common as recently as the 18th century, before we got gas and eventually electric lighting. So here's how it works. We sleep in three cycles, light sleep, deep sleep, and REM, or rapid eye movement when we dream. These sleep stages last about 90 minutes and rotate through the night, but studies have found that you don't need to go through that cycle. In polyphasic sleep, you can get the three parts of sleep in three different naps. For instance, in many of my 20 minute naps, I dreamt, which means I was in REM. The schedule meant I had to nap anywhere, a chemistry lab, a bench, an auditorium. Here's me in my lecture hall. I didn't drink caffeine, I gave up alcohol, and I didn't have much of a social life. Though, there were advantages. Apart from the extra time I got, I was waking up after a nap, just like I would wake up after a good night's sleep in the morning. The long-term effects of this are still unclear. One biological purpose of sleep is to clear the waste that accumulates in the brain throughout the day. We don't know whether polyphasic sleeping will affect that waste clearance system. So I might do it again if I have a well-defined project like writing a book. But apart from that, I might just stick to a good night's sleep.